when you first launch WinWave Trading Expert Pro, the charting area comes up. There's usually a splash screen in the middle here that has details of how to get tutorials and more information. Once you shut down that splash screen, the default charts look like this. To configure these charts so they look exactly as Darren Windsor's charts are in the Apprentice program, we'll need to make some changes to both the colors and to the indicators that are being displayed. First off, Darren prefers a white background and with black pricing bars. To do this, we'll right click anywhere in the charting area, go down to properties. The second tab here is colors. First, we'll change the background color to white. Second, the scales and text will change to black. The high-low bars will also change to black. And the closes, again, will change that to black as well. Darren also has indicated colors that are green and red. And in the case of the third one, it's yellow. Once we click OK, once you click OK, you'll notice the screen has changed. We have the white background with the black price bars. Darren also has grids put on the charts. Again, if we right click, go to properties, on the settings here, we check the mark for grids and then click OK. Quite often Darren has the view of the chart zoomed further out so he can see more data. Right now we're just seeing a couple of months of data. Up on the toolbar here we have an increase and decrease spacing. By decreasing the spacing, we notice we're able to see more months. As a default, you can see there's indicator as the volume that's shown beneath the chart here. Your WinWay charts includes a selection of indicators that are exclusive to WinWay Trading Expert Pro. And these were put in here as part of the design framework uh, when we were building this package with Darren. If you look in the control panel on the right here, you notice there's a large number of indicators in this lower area. And these are indicators that appear below the price chart. And some indicators in the upper area here that actually apply to the price chart itself. In order to simplify things and just to leave the indicators that Darren uses, we're going to remove those indicators that he doesn't currently use. We do this by going to Chart, Settings, Indicator Library, and Charting. Notice there's selected indicators for the upper area and the lower area. We're going to remove the indicators that Darren doesn't use and just leave us with the short-term, long-term and intermediate moving averages, both at exponential and simple. To do this, I will leave these here, these three, and these three as well. Those six indicators we're going to leave because Darren uses those. The others, we'll click on one, hold down my control key, and then click and highlight all the upper indicators that I wish to remove. Once I've highlighted all these, I click on this arrow and that sends them into the library. We repeat the task for the lower area. You notice here there's one, two, three, four, five Winway indicators. These are the indicators that Darren defaults to. We're going to remove all the others. So again, click on W. So again, click on MACD first, hold down my control key, and select the other indicators to remove. I can actually use the control and shift key and highlight a whole bunch of them in one go. 
For the lower indicator area, we do the same. Click on MACD is the first one we want to remove. We just want to leave the five Winway indicators. If I click and hold down my control key, I can highlight volatility. I can then scroll to the bottom of the list here. Control key and the shift key both held down at the same time and then click on this indicator and it highlights the remainder. So you notice only the five indicators we want will remain. So we click on this arrow, send that over to the library, click OK. And now we have both the upper and the lower indicator area exactly as Darren uses it. Darren also uses the Group and Sector Explore function within Winway Trading Expert Pro to look at the group and the sector level. Prior to doing that, he also looks at the market charts. These can be accessed by clicking on this small icon right here and it'll bring up the market charts. Notice in this white box here, there's also UK All showing. That's the Group and Sector structure for the FTSE 350 stocks. You can see this structure by changing this view in the control panel on the right here. All we need to do is press enter on our keyboard and you'll notice it switches over to a different view. We call this the list view. By expanding on each of these particular areas, I can actually get down to the sector. In this case, this is the UK capital goods. Underneath that, I have UK aeronautics and defense. And you can see within here, I can explore through the stocks within this group. If there's a stock that I think might be worth uh, further exploration as far as analysis, I have the ability to tag this into a tag list. To do this, I would click up here, go to tag list, set tag list, this is going to be a new tag list, so we'll call this test. Click OK. Now, if I wanted to look at Rolls-Royce Group later for analysis, I can just click on this here, add to tag list, and it gets added into that test list for me to look at later. Again, if I look at a different sector, here's the food, beverage, and tobacco. Here's the UK beverage, and here's Coca-Cola, HBC. If I want to tag that, set tag list is already there, so I click it and I've added it to that list. I can also explore up and down through the stocks within a particular group or groups in the sector using my arrow keys, up and down arrow keys on my keyboard. You can also explore using left and right arrows up here on the toolbar, or the up and down arrows take me up and down through the group sector structure. Also included in here, of course, is the SP500. And it's a similar type of structure, but 500 goods. Again, I can move and explore down within there. I can have up to 12 charts open at one time. And I can also expand the view so it fills up the whole of the chart area. And that gets you set up uh, as Darren has his charting set up.